Do you love to dream and then create? Well, you've come to the right channel. Hi, my name is Lachelle DC and welcome to Love, Dream, Create. I'm a model, host, actress, love to storytell, love to create content, YouTuber, and I love lifting people up. I love making you the best that you can be, boosting your confidence, boosting your self-esteem while you use your resources and what you have to get you to the next level. We all know that there's a lot of distractions that can happen in the audition room, like... Don't forget, there's always that one person who asks you, Excuse me? Hi, hi. Um, I just wanted to know, how long have you been here? Has there been a long wait? How many people are they seeing today? Because I think, because I... And then there's... Which role are you reading for today? Oh, really? Well, my agent's husband is in the casting room. He happens to be the director. Where does that put you? We have the famous audition room, or should we say infamous, where dreams are made, or careers are put to the test, your nerves are tested, and it's either sink or swim. We have, we have so much to worry about before we go to the uh, main casting room, but in the audition room, it's a world of its own. So I'm here to help you with one tip you can start doing now. Okay, so get a pencil and get a pad. Share this with a friend that could benefit from it because you're not going to want to forget this number one tip. Okay, so this is what you want to do. First of all, whoever your character is or whatever your character is, in the script, that's what you want to exude that morning as soon as you wake up. And when you go into the casting room, you want to walk in the doors as that character, the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they sit, the way they glance around at people, the way they fiddle with their hair. First of all, You've already looked at your script and you know it down packed. So you know the sides and the ins and the outs of the script. So what I want you to do is write down some affirmations that your character and your character's perspective that they would write down. Let me explain it to you. So let's say your character is really, really a businessman. Okay, and he's real cocky. This is for the men. He's real cocky or maybe confident and he's a businessman. You will be dressed similar to the character you have already. So you want to pretend this is where you get to have fun and you should be walking down that sidewalk to the audition just like your character. So now this is what you want to do. So. If he were to write down affirmations, because someone like that might think they don't need affirmations, but if they were to write an information, they would say, hey, Joe, you're the best thing this company ever had. You are going to get this and nail it. Take no prisoners. It would be something cocky like that. And they would really, really believe that. Now, affirmation, let's just say me, as Lachelle would say, is... You were born to do this. You were meant to be, be a work of art and to heal people with your comedy. You are meant to do this. You are, you are special. You understand what I'm saying? Let's say it was someone depressed. Let's say it's a drama, okay? And let's say you walked into that casting audition and let's say it's somebody who's going through some type of dramatic dilemma. So you would walk in totally different than a cocky person. Think about it. 
you walk in kind of sad, kind of meek, kind of mouse-ish. And you would sit down and be like to yourself and maybe something's on your mind. And the affirmation you would write would probably be just the flip side. It wouldn't come out of confidence. Maybe it would be like, my life will be crushed if Ken is not with me or something of that sort. Do you understand? So, so many times we look for, as people say, positive quotes or a lot of good quotes to uplift you. Well, what type of quote would your specific character, not you, your character write for that day? And this is in regards to what's going on in the script. Where are they going? Where are they right there? Are they in their house? Are they talking to their husband? Are they, again, are they going to the workplace and maybe it's a little bit quirky and they start off their day, I'm going to the office, but later on they get fired. They don't know they get fired, but they're going to the office and they were in a good mood. Well, then you would write a good affirmation and that's going to help you get into your emotion, especially the first top emotion you have in that script. So not only do I want you to write an affirmation in the feelings, in the mood of what's going on in that script for your particular character, but again, even a few days before, make it fun. You should be walking and talking like your character, making people call you your character's name. If your character is a vegan or if they like fast food, get into it. Eat fast food. Eat vegan food. If they like watching sports or they always watch the news, get into your character and watch the news for a few days leading up into your audition. Make it fun. So then when you go into that audition and you sign in, you sign in just as they would sign in. And then when you sit down, you might have three minutes, you might have five minutes, you might have 15 minutes. Everything should be down packed. You have the script in your head. Work on that emotion how they're feeling at the top of that script. Go over your affirmations. That's the most important thing. Go over the af affirmation that your character, depending on the script, wrote. And that's how a clue to how they're feeling. So you don't forget it, okay? So when you go into that room, that's how your character was feeling that day when they wrote that affirmation and now they're being thrust into the real world and they have to deal with their information. I hope this has been of help. Please feel free to like this video. By liking it, it makes the algorithm go up and other people can gain information on how to improve their acting technique. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Right now, you're seeing a video right there on some helpful hacks that I wanted to give to you in regards to castings, more information of, so you've been booked, now what? A little spinoff from this hack that I gave you today. Until then, hope you have a wonderful day.